Pablo Malco, My Life Unedited with another little daily reminder. Today's question is, do you feel stuck? Do you feel like you don't know what to do and or where to go from here? Very common feeling for many people. One of the reasons you'll feel stuck is because you're comparing yourself to other people. And they look like they've been doing it for so long and they put so much work into it that you don't think you could ever catch up to them. Or they look like it happened for them overnight and they just got lucky and you don't get that lucky. The truth of the matter is your fear is preventing you from trying new things. Your comfort zone is preventing you from trying new things. You only feel stuck because you really just don't want to start. Start what? I don't know what to start. I'm stuck. No, no. You don't want to start thinking productively in the direction of how to change that. Let's break this down. First of all, I'm stuck. I don't know what to do with my life. I don't know whether to go east, west, north, or south. Okay, but let's ask ourselves some questions. What do I want my ultimate goal to be? Do I need to make a million dollars? Do I just want to paint, drink wine, and be happy? Do I want to produce music and make an album for myself? Do I want to sing? Do I want to play a sport? Whatever the answer is will give you enough information to get started. Okay. Once you make up your mind on what the goal is, then you start looking at ways to reach that goal. But if you never stop and go, well, what's my ultimate goal here? You'll never start asking yourself the right question. I get it. I get it. You may be unmotivated because of previous failures. You may be unmotivated because you work a long job and you come home and take care of kids and then you don't have the energy to do anything more. However, somehow or the other miraculously, come Friday or Saturday, you have the energy to go to the club or to the bar or to happy hour. Not only the energy, but the money. It's amazing how these things work, isn't it? Yeah, because we want to do those things. We're motivated to go out and be seen. We're motivated to go out and drink. We're motivated to do these things. When we get motivated to do something for ourselves, we get unstuck. You could have exhausted all your ideas in the past and you're like, oh, nothing works for me. I'm unlucky. Oh, I'm so broke. This person took all my money. i tell you something. I know people like this who are successful financially and in other areas, but if I took all their money away today, all their assets, credit cards, cash, everything. I took that person and I put them in another country. I don't care if it's a third world country. I don't care if it's a thriving country. They will figure out how to be successful again. If you invested time or money in something and you fail, it, you may be close, first of all. It may be time to take another look at that and see where you went wrong. And if you could pick up from where you left off, it may be wise to just scratch it and start all over. It may be wise to do something else. But I guess what I'm trying to say here is there are those kind of people that will make it happen no matter what the situation is because their drive and determination, not because they have money, not because they're smarter than you, it's because they have drive and determination. You have to just get started. You have to pick up a pen, turn on the computer, open your phone, start making some notes, start writing down some goals. Start writing down some ideas. One of them will stick. And one of them will really motivate you. One more thing. A lot of times, for the sake of feeling stuck, we jump out and we try something really random outside of our comfort zone, almost as like a last resort. And we do it subconsciously because we just got to do something different. Hey, sometimes that works. It's like throwing pasta at the wall and if it sticks, it sticks. But if you take some time, Think about what you enjoy doing the most or what you want the most, what you want to achieve in life the most, and then start putting your energy, time, and efforts into that thing. You will eventually see some progress. It may not be a million dollars. Your art may not make it to the Van Gogh Art Gallery, but you will have gotten started and you'll be in a better position in six months than you are now today. Sometimes you feel like 
you're with a partner who doesn't support your endeavors. This happens a lot because the other person feels threatened that they may lose you, that you may make more money than them, that you may not need them, that you may outshine them. This is something. If that's the case, get it started and get them involved. Maybe don't get them involved. But please do stop and think and identify, could this be one of your problems? Because if it is, something needs to change. I'm not saying that you need to separate yourself from that person. I'm just saying something needs to change on the way you go about pursuing your goals. Maybe you can pursue your goals while making that person feel included, even if they don't want to be a part of the business or the project, you can still let them know that you love and you have time for them, right? So you got to maybe show them the balance. You have to let them know that your goals doesn't threaten your relationship with them. Maybe even you can inspire them and motivate them to do something for themselves. Hey, buddy, you always wanted to take karate. Why don't you go do that? Hey, you always wanted to get on the baseball team. Why don't you go do that? Hey, you always wanted to go play golf. Why don't you go do that? Go out there with them. Get them motivated to doing something so that they have time to do something so that you have time to do something. Either way, that could very well be one of your things that are holding you up. But if you're serious about it, if you want to get unstuck, these are some of the things you have to take in consideration. So I guess what I'm trying to say to you is, cut the bullshit, get to work. Start with just one word, write it down. Thank you so much. Pablo Malco, My Life Unedited with another little daily reminder.